Hi guys, this is Kevin with WatchHimTrade.com. Today's date is April 12, 2015. This is a video chart on SYMC. Symantec Corporation stock got a big burst of volume on Friday, over 12 million shares. That's the highest volume the stock's traded since July 2014, so nearly a year ago. And this is an interesting chart to me because in the short term, it looks kind of sloppy. You don't have a real trend. If you just kind of draw a line across $24, you can see there's been significant price action on either side of 24 and kind of same thing with 26. You've been in a tight channel. So no real diagonal movement overall. Yeah, you've had periods of diagonal movement in the short term, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down and then up I suppose but it's all come within a broader sideways style channel I just like drawing lines but bottom line short term doesn't really reveal a trend Friday's move you got a big burst back up higher and you came above 25 bucks but now you're dealing with you know resistance from these highs from December through March so some people might be looking at it as a short where it gets interesting to me is when you focus on the longer term perspective. So I'm going to swap to a monthly chart here to show what's going on. And the stock actually made new multiple, new multiple year highs just in January, getting up to 2732. 2013 was the previous high of 2710. So you made new multiple year highs. Prior to 2013, you would have had to go back to 2005 to see the stock last above 27 bucks. Since 2005, for the most part, it has had a real hard time getting above 25, and that's what this top end line is used to show. This top blue line is in line with 25. However, you've had a couple instances over the last two years, two to three years, where you're trying to get above 25 bucks and Friday's move actually took the stock back above 25. So from a longer term perspective, if SYMC can start holding 25, it starts to look really good to test this all-time high near $32 or at least 10-year high. I shouldn't say all-time high because I, I didn't go back and look at the 1990s. It might have been higher, but at any rate, hold 25, you can go up towards 30 bucks. Below 25, I'd look for channel downside back into that 24 to 23 range. Personally, I'd be more interested in the upside potential. It doesn't have great volatility lower. It kind of makes those channel movements. So you're at a spot now where you can get the upside breakout if you can hold 25. So that's what I'd be most interested in personally. Also, longer term, if you look at it, you can kind of see the makings of an inverse head and shoulders pattern here where you're left shoulder is in 2013, your head is in 2014, and your right shoulder here possibly just got formed here in 2015. This would be a longer term head and shoulders. Your neckline would be right in line with that $27 level, so if you can break out above that, that's where 30 bucks and above comes into play. But after Friday's volume on the daily, it's definitely one to keep an eye on when you combine it with the long-term implications that I just pointed out on the monthly chart. So hold 25 bucks, that's the key. I do like this setup if you are holding 25, I think it's a good one. Below 25, these lows come into play. This is an example though of why it's important to look at daily and monthly time frames because you know if you look at the daily you see that the stock just made a lower low compared to the January, February lows. It took those out and then bounced up and now you know maybe you'd be looking at this as a short because now you're testing a previous resistance range after breaking below support however that longer term monthly outlook shows that hey she might actually be breaking out of a major longer term base so maybe it's not a short here so always remember to look at multiple time frames as different time frames will reveal different trends and pictures